Hey guys, so I'm back for another video and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions slash review on this new um, Revlon products called uh, Age Defying Targeted Dark Spot Correcting Concealer. I've been looking for a for an anti dark spot treatment of some sort and I'm glad I came across this one so I'm excited to try it out. Um, in the description on the Revlon website, it says that it pinpoints dark spots like never before. 82% of women said the appearance of age spots and discolorations were instantly improved. Our innovative concealer features a vitamin C and licorice enriched formula that instantly reduces the appearance of age spots and discolorations for smooth, more even looking skin. Now, it comes with this applicator and it's like a softish kind of velvety brush type applicator and then the center like you squeeze it out and the product comes out now um, I noticed that this is not travel friendly at all because if you were to travel with this and like something happened if this just presses by itself all the product is gonna come out so that's something I didn't like right off the bat but um, I figured I'd try it. I'm probably not going to be using this applicator to blend it out just because I don't think this would be a good way of blending out concealer. So I'm probably going to use my fingers or a brush. But yeah, I'm going to try using it under my eyes because I have some like freckles and stuff like that that we can try to cover this with. And um, I have some acne scars, stuff like that. So yeah um i'm just wearing my bb cream and nothing else no um blush nothing so i'm gonna do that after the concealer and let's get right into it so my shade is in light medium and they have four different shades which is not very good um so i wouldn't recommend this for dark skin tones because they only have four shades and like even the darkest one is pretty light so yeah Okay, I think I put too much. I'm just gonna take some. I put it over here. I'm gonna use this brush that I have from Sigma to blend it out. This brush right here, and this is the tapered blending E40 brush. <laughs> If you guys can tell but it kind of emphasized my fine lines and that is something that I practically cannot stand um, it did brighten up my under eye area I have a feeling it's going to crease throughout the day so I will use a setting powder for this All right now let's try concealing some actual dark spots see how well it conceals It's a pretty creamy formula, so um, I don't know if I would use this under my eyes unless you want some really, really heavy coverage. I think that as a concealer for your face, this works out very well. So now I'm just going to try to um, conceal these two pimples I have. And I'm going to try using this applicator. And you have to be careful not to squeeze any product out when you're... Oh my god. See, I didn't even squeeze and so much came out. Yeah, I wouldn't say that this is practical to use the applicator it comes with. Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm going to be back in around 5-6 uh, hours to let you know how it's going. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, I'm back for my update. It is now 5.05 p.m. according to my television. And I didn't mention what time it was when I first applied this stuff. It was around 11, 10, 11, 15. I was getting ready for school, so yeah. So it was around that time. And um, I have some good and bad news. 
So let's do the bad news first. So um, from far away, the concealer under my eyes looks great. It looks amazing. From close up, you can definitely tell that it's settled into my fine lines and it kind of makes me look like I have more wrinkles than I really do, which is something I'm sure none of us want to look like so that's the bad part but the thing is from far away it looks really good so for the rest of my face um, I would say that the dark spots areas or like the um, scars and acne that I concealed stayed concealed for the most part like in this area it's concealed still and kind of in this area it's for the most part concealed over here where I actually have two pimples if you guys can tell um, it's not as concealed anymore just because I think I was rubbing that area and um, yeah I think that's the main reason why that's not concealed I'm gonna try to reapply some concealer over here to see if it'll actually last with me not rubbing anything for the next like four hours until I do like my final hey guys I'm back for my final update it is now 8.06 p.m. And yeah, um, I have some positive things to say and some negative things to say as last time. So the good thing is that um, you can tell that my acne is still covered. It's been about three hours since I applied uh, the concealer for the second time. And that's a good thing. The downside is that it kind of oxidized on my skin, which um, I guess I it's like pretty minimal but you can tell that it's like a different color a little darker than it was originally and um, under my eyes it still looks really good but when you look close you can see the fine lines emphasized a lot more than um, if I were not to wear concealer and um, also it did crease um, but you can't really tell unless you kind of like pull on your eye and really look closely so um, it creased but not too bad so yeah so overall um, I do think this product is thick enough to use as a concealer on your face um, I don't like the applicator I don't like the way it comes out because it's very messy and it's not travel friendly at all and um, yeah, other than that, I think this is a good concealer to use under your eyes if you're going out to a party or something like that because it's pretty thick. It's not something I would use every day because I don't really have intense dark circles to cover up. But if you do, I think this would be a great concealer for you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later.